Hey folks, and welcome to Carstars' 10 Wicked Facts about Jody 71 Plymouth Cuda in the 1979 movie, Phantasm. Fact number one. There was only one 1971 Plymouth Cuda used in the film with no other stunt or backup cars. The car was actually originally painted in plum crazy purple with a white interior before being painted black for the film with some additional changes to achieve the dark presence they were after. Fact number two. Despite the 446 pack badging on the hood, the car actually just had the base model 340 engine putting out around 300 horsepower to the 4-speed transmission topped off with a Hearst pistol grip shifter. The only known aftermarket performance parts fitted were the Carter 1000 CFM Thermoquad carb and headers. Fact number 3. Besides the aforementioned repaint to black, there were some other visual customizations made to the car for the movie as well. Some of these modifications included a set of Krager SS wheels, rear fender flares, a custom sunroof, blue and gray pinstriping, black bucket seats, and a reupholstered and black interior. Fact number four. As seen in the film being used as a shooting stand, the 71 Cuda actually had a sunroof, which may not seem unusual to most viewers. However, as Mopar enthusiasts would point out, a 1971 Cuda didn't technically have the sunroof option from the factory at least. Unfortunately for the car, this feature was actually a crudely done quickie modification made for the film. Yep, they actually sawed a big hole in the roof of a 71 Cuda just to create a makeshift sunroof for one scene of the movie. The sunroof was done so poorly and leaked so much that it caused a significant mold buildup issue in the interior later on after filming ended. Fact number five. During its use in the film's creation, the Cuda actually broke down numerous times. This particular car had a lot of electrical related problems that caused a number of difficulties for the production team. The electrical system had been unprofessionally altered by previous owners causing frequent shorts and other electrical malfunctions. So seeing the car being worked on like this was a rather common actual occurrence on set. This is most likely why we see the taillights work intermittently and flicker strangely throughout the film and also never actually see any interior lights turn on either. Fact number six. Oddly, over the whole decade that the Barracuda line was in production, the 71 model was the one and only year that sported the quad headlight grill design. This was an especially unusual change as the 71 Barracuda wasn't even the start of a different generation of the model, it was just a one-off single year change within the same third and final generation of the Barracuda, and then they switched right back to the former two headlight design for the last three years of the model. Fact number seven. The convertible version of the 1971 Cuda is actually the rarest of the rare when it comes to American muscle cars as there were only 12 of them ever built. This extremely low build volume is because by 71, convertible cars in general had lost popularity and were mostly unfavored by the public at the time. A prime example of their extreme modern value is this all original 1971 Hemi Cuda convertible that sold at a Mecham auction in 2014 for a whopping $3.5 million. Fact number eight. After its involvement in the film, the Phantasm Cuda was kept by art director David Brown, who owned it for several years, but then sold it to a real estate broker and car enthusiast named James Baker in 1980 for $2,500. James was the last publicly known owner of the car, but he then traded the Cuda straight up for a customized van to an unknown person he met on the road later that year. Fact number nine. In early 1981, the car was actually spotted as being used as a background car in an episode of the Chips TV show entitled Crash Course in the fourth season, as we can see here. This was the last time that the car was featured in a film production and was the last time it was even seen by the general public as well. Fact number 10. Unfortunately, the Phantasm Cuda's whereabouts are unknown today. There have been many deep research efforts by several folks over the years to locate the car, but it has yet to have been found as far as we know. Most who have dug into these search efforts seriously have generally concluded that the car no longer exists today. Well, there you have it folks. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.